Club Africain is preparing to host South Africa Supersport United in the return match of CAF Confederation Cup semi-final. Our generation has not yet tasted Africa's prestigious titles. We must score the first goal on Sunday. After a one-to-one -one result in the first leg, the Tunisian outfit is confident they can reach the final. We've observed our opponents. The South Africans have a strong team, but we are determined to win. This has been our dream since 2011. In 2011, Club Africain lost the final on penalties to Morocco's Maghreb de Fes. After a six year of absence, the club is eager for a return to the final. Matthew Rusik has not played an official match for four months. He's not 100% ready to play for 90 minutes. He can play from about 60 to 70 minutes. We will rely on Rusik and his teammates. Head coach Marco Simone is waiting for the physical trainer's green light to include the Zimbabwean midfielder and striker Matthew Rizike in the team. On one side, hundreds of South Africans flew out to Tunisia to support their club, Supersport United. On the other side, at least 40,000 Tunisian fans will attend the Sunday game at Rade Stadium for one of Africa's top clashes of the football season. Adnan Shawashi, CGTN, Tunis. Well, Penina, the other match tonight, of course, the CAF Confederation Cup semi-final, or rather tomorrow, that is on Sunday, will be defending champions Tipi Mazembe uh, taking on FUS Rabat. Tipi Mazembe won the first leg 1-0 in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and they will be hoping that they can finish the job in Rabat. Then again, FUS are looking to win their first title at that level since 2010. Well, sounds very, very exciting indeed. Entertaining match it must be. Celestine Karane in Cairo, thank you very much for joining us.